In this video, we'll go through the configuration settings for Uniprint Client 5. To access the configuration settings, click Show Hidden Icons. Right-click the Uniprint icon, and then select Options. From here, you can set how your print jobs will be handled. For example, you can have all of your print jobs sent directly to your default printer. Select Print Directly to My Default Printer. And if you want to be able to change printer properties, such as the number of copies, then select Display Printer Properties before printing. Alternatively, to choose a printer other than your default printer, select Let me choose a printer every time I print. Previewing your document before you print is always a good idea and can help reduce paper waste. Click Enable Document Preview and then select either Preview with Uniprint or you can use another application such as Adobe Reader. If you want to use another application, then you'll have to point Uniprint Client to the application's executable file. Select Preview with another application. Click Browse to locate the executable file. Click to select AcroRD32.exe and then click Open. But we want to use Uniprint Viewer to preview our documents, so select Preview with Uniprint. By default, Client 5 is set to run when the computer is powered on. If this is disabled, then you'll have to manually start Uniprint Client each time you log into your application server. Now let's click the Notifications tab. In the Notifications tab, you can enable error logging. If you are experiencing issues with Uniprint Client, your network administrator may ask you to enable logging with the appropriate log level. For demonstration purposes, let's enable logging and make it verbose so that we can log everything. You can also enable train notifications, which are displayed in the lower right corner. Train notifications advise you of the status of your print jobs. So let's turn on train notifications. If you choose to preview your documents with Uniprint Viewer, you can also select how Uniprint Viewer will launch. You can have it open on top of all your windows and stay on top, or you can open it in the background. This setting really depends on how you like to work. I prefer to have Uniprint Viewer open on top and stay on top. So select Pop to the front and stay on top. Click Apply. And then click OK to complete the configuration. The next time you log on to your application server, these settings will take effect. Thank you for watching this short video. If you have any issues with Uniprint Client, feel free to browse our online forums or contact us at support at uniprint.net.